and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. I'm here in Tempe, Arizona, trying to solve one of the nation's largest problems and recycling nightmares, and it is styrofoam. Of course, this product takes up 25% of our landfills, and right now, in many counties that don't have landfill space available, they burn. However, I've traveled to Tempe, Arizona to meet with my guest today, Dan Schwenard. He is the inventor and he is the founder of EF Block, Earth Friendly Block. What is your Earth Friendly Block made of, Dan? Our Earth Friendly Block is made of 87% recycled post-consumer styrofoam. So instead of it going in the landfill like you mentioned and getting buried forever, we take it, intercept it, grind it up, mix it with Portland cement and some other green additives and make brand new building block out of it. You build houses out of styrofoam? Absolutely. Dan, would you take a moment and show us how the process works with your, your display wall here? Absolutely. Uh, you would stack the block up, check it for plumb, and then you spot glue it just enough to hold it in place. When you stab in the uh, metal dispenser, the glue will expand into the substrate and give you a mechanical bond as well as the chemical bond from the glue in there. Okay. Once it's all up true plumb, then you drop in the rebar, and this here represents the concrete grout itself. That's this big heavy block right here. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. And that's it? That's it. It's that's that the simple. whole process. That's the whole process. Yeah. You can put corner aid on it and do the crispest contemporary, or you can rasp it off and soften the corners and edges and do a very territorial or Santa Fe look. Gotcha. And this block here is an example of your EF block that you use to build houses. Absolutely. What percentage of this is recycled styrofoam? 87% is recycled post-consumer styrofoam. Gotcha. And, and what is the value of building with styrofoam knowing that it has great insulating properties? Well, there's many, many reasons. Uh, the thermal qualities are 40 per Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Uh, soundproofing, uh, fire rating, uh, bugs don't eat it or nest in it. It goes up very, very quick. We had a customer in Mesa, Arizona add 400 square feet to his house on the west side of his house and his utility bill went down $100 a month. So what's the benefit to somebody, not just the insulating values, but what are some of the other benefits uh, to having a stable, sustainable home? What our, are the properties? Our customers buy it for many, many reasons. The thermal qualities, like we mentioned, uh, they also buy it because of the recycled content. They buy it because of the fireproof or fire resistant qualities. It's, it's virtually, uh, uh, we've got YouTube videos we filmed where it, it just does not burn. Uh, we have customers that have used it because of termites. Uh, they lost their entire house to termites and termites don't eat it or nest in it. So what you're saying is that it doesn't degrade and it also uh, doesn't absorb organic material? It does not. It does not. How is it with the uh, water? We did some testing. We actually floated a block for six months in the back of our shop and tested it and no damage at all. We have a professor up at Northern Arizona University, uh, Tony Deku. And Tony lived in his home for 10 years before he coated the outside. Had snow piled against it, driving rain against it. No degradation. Didn't hurt anything. Really? And now, what about issues of um, catching fire or uh, off gassing? Are Again, those it, it doesn't burn. There's no off gassing. It's all post consumer styrofoam. We did a house in Tucson for the American Lung Association because there's absolutely no outgassing, unlike the plywoods and formaldehydes you get and everything else. So what do you do with the waste product, what block you don't use? That's a beautiful thing. The leftovers can be ground up and add, introduced back into new block up to 25%. It seems to me like in um, areas where, you know, the co things can be cost prohibitive to hire people or you want to do something yourself, having something that's so lightweight to be able to put together allows anybody to build a home like that. That's absolute. Uh, about 75% of our customers are do-it-yourselfers. They do their own block. And for instance, a mason or concrete block home, they'll have five journeymen and two laborers. When you do an EF block home, you'll have one or two journeymen and five laborers. Now, in terms of producing the block itself, is that a difficult process? Not at all. Not at all, actually. Our manufacturing facilities are under $400,000 and the return on investment is less than a year. 
and you have a relationship with Lowe's Home Improvement. Absolutely, and, uh, absolutely. How, that's not an easy thing to get. How did that come about? No, no. Uh, uh, we had customers that uh, went to Lowe's trying to get it. And Lowe's contacted us, and uh, we we sell through Lowe's th throughout the U.S. So, what is your dream for your company, EF Block, and the recycling of styrofoam? My goal is to have a manufacturing facility in every state at least every state and that would be located next to a, a recycle center where they sort their trash and the number one goal is to get the, the waste management companies type companies to collect the styrofoam and then when it gets to the sorting area pull it out make brand new block and take it to the job site so is there any excuse not to recycle this post-consumer styrofoam not at all there isn't. No, no excuses at all. No. If you can build a plant, you can build homes, and you can just keep taking it as it comes in. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Dan Schwinnard of EF Block, how do we get in touch with you? Well, you can go to our website, efblock.com. Uh, you can Google EF Block YouTube. Uh, you could like us on Facebook, or you can call 480-830-5393. And there's information on how to build these houses. Absolutely. We've got how-to books. Uh, we have all the different YouTube videos. We have everything you need. Awesome. Dan, I, I think you've just solved the problem, and you're going to save the world. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. I've been in search of you for a long time. Well, thank you, and we truly appreciate you coming here and having the opportunity to be on, on your show and your, uh, with you. I'm Miriam Gennari. That's the Sustainable Scoop. Back to the news desk.